Hello, hello friends, and welcome to another video. It is Saturday, May 1st. How the frick is it already May? I look very tan. I went and got a spray tan yesterday, yesterday and I've been in the sun because it's actually beautiful outside, but we're gonna vlog today. I think I might just do like a weekend vlog. Um, little update, so I'm living with Will now. Um, I don't even know what I've announced it on here, but I moved to Austin, Texas at the end of June. Out of Melissa in my house because someone else is like taking over my lease. So I'm just staying with Will for a couple months until my apartment in Austin opens up. But Will is on a trip to Florida this weekend with um, his friend Tegan, who's also one of my best friends. Um, so it honestly worked out perfectly because I got to like unpack, kind of get situated without having him here. Realized that because I've had a roommate and then a boyfriend who I like come hang out with every single day, the past couple days, so it's Saturday, I moved in here on Wednesday. I, I realized like I have not, not only had this much alone time, but I haven't really had any alone time besides like driving places or like if Melissa was out running errands or like went to the gym before I did or something like that. Like in months, like months and months, it's probably been like a year. I kid you not because Melissa hasn't like traveled anywhere unless it was the holidays in, in like a year. So I... It's been weird, but I've also like really been making a point to just like enjoy my me time. I feel very productive, which is great. But this weekend, I might seem like a loner, guys. But like, yo, it feels so good. I'm an introvert, so I like find little ways of getting my alone time, even when I have a roommate and a boyfriend and whatever. But like, I didn't even think about that. Like, how crazy. Like, I literally have not had alone time. Like an evening alone in like a year. But I really have been enjoying just like getting work done and doing stuff by myself. Um, so that's going to be this weekend. Weekend with Lex. I figured I might as well vlog. Um, but I just ate breakfast. I went on my little walk to get coffee outside. My morning routine is like always here. So I feel like that hasn't really changed. Um, but... I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm gonna get my acrylics off because my, my real nails are so long, like under there, hashtag collagen. Um, and I'm just sick of these bitches. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna train today and we'll see what else we get into. So, okay, I'm back from getting my nails done. I totally forgot <laughs> to bring you guys. I like changed my camera battery and left my camera in our room but um i basically just got my acrylics off i was really excited because i used to get acrylics all the time i feel like a lot of competitors do um but i've actually always had really strong nails and they grow really fast especially since i've been taking the collagen from first form and i was like why do i have these because the only time i've ever had not super strong nails was after i took my acrylics off um during quarantine because obviously like nail salons weren't open and anyways when they opened again I was like really excited and just wanted my acrylics back on but I was like why do I do that so I just got dip and it's this really pretty like in between white and purple pink color so anyways there's that I got back and I was like okay I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go train and usually I take one rest day during the week and one on the weekend and I like to rest on Sunday because Will and I go to church and just kind of like chill he gets back late tomorrow night and honestly, it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow. Today, it is beautiful. Um, so, I'm gonna go on a hike by myself. And it's gonna be mother freaking glorious. A little open-faced bagel Sammy. I may or may not combine it and put it together, but it has oop, one of these everything gluten-free bagels from Trader Joe's. And then under like on the bagel on both sides, I have some guac. And then on this side, I just have some deli turkey and then we have a whole egg. 
Yes. And then I have some pineapple. I was driving home from my mails and I was like, I just really want a bagel sandwich. And I've been craving pineapple all week, so I got that. This has not been like a normal meal for me, but um, really since I've been tracking again, and I think I mentioned this, like I have a more intuitive approach. I do have my staple meals that I for sure stick to during the week. Like I pretty much eat like very similar things every day, but I also am very conscientious about like, what do I want right now? Cause that's something I don't want to lose touch with, if that makes sense. So. Anyways, gonna eat that and get the show on the road. Guys, it is so freaking beautiful out here. I'd say I'm like, halfway and this hike is it's not my card at all it's more like a walk i just talked to my mom for a little bit and now i'm just cruising i've done this hike probably 50 times since i've lived here um and it never gets less beautiful but i also have never done it alone usually it's where i take people and they come visit but it's one for the books i'm so happy i did this okay hike is done that was absolutely lovely um it took i think like an hour and 20 minutes ish um so it is oh my apple watch tried actually um i forgot to charge that ish last night but it is 4 50 and originally i was like oh, i'll go home probably like eat work a little bit i really want to go to target <laughs> um and i was like i'm not like really hungry like i really have no reason to go home first so i just took a quick little detour to good old target um honestly there's just some things that like will does not have that I would like to have. Um, it's probably because he's like a dude. Like, I'm like, I would like to have some wine glasses. Like, you always lose your keys, and I hate just like throwing my keys on the counter because I always lose everything. So, there's just some like organization stuff and like things for clothes and whatnot. So, um, I have a little list of a few things I want to get. Nothing crazy. Hopefully. We come out with just that stuff. But I'll show you guys what I get when I go home because I do not feel like taking you guys in. Okay, guys. Goods have been secured, and I did pretty dang good. I only got what I needed, but I um, treated myself to my new favorite drink. Okay? So I didn't go to Starbucks for a long time because I like my little Italian coffee shop. Um, and I was just on, like, an energy drink kick. Now a lot of them really hurt my stomach it make me nauseous i think i said that in my last vlog but this took me many tries to perfect but what i get is a nitro cold brew, cold brew it's so much smoother i like having my big drink but nitro is so much smoother than the regular cold brew and i get three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and one Splenda if I want it really sweet. If I don't want it as sweet, I don't get the Splenda. Then I get sweet cream cold foam on top, but not like the sweet cream in it. Um, so this is, I believe, seven carbs and two protein. Um, and it is delicious. Okay, we are back. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I got from good old Target. So first and foremost, we got a rice cooker. Um, Will always uses the, like, frozen bags from Trader Joe's that you guys have seen me. Like, I use those a bunch. But they've been really hard to find recently. And it's so much cheaper to just use, like, regular rice. I got this bad boy. I left mine for Melissa because I couldn't remember if she bought it or I bought it. So I was like, whatever. Um, they're super cheap. I think this is, like, this is a nice one. It was, like, 20 or $30. I don't know. Will also does not have wine glasses. I've been using like cocktail glasses when I have my wine at night. So I got him some wine glasses. Those were not expensive, like $15. Okay, big t-shirt I got. This Rolling Stones one. Like I said, I like to like wear like a big t-shirt sometimes over like, if I'm wearing like a sports bra and shorts or something, I don't like going in my like public places like that um and then i got this cute little 
yellow crop. I go to Tr or Trader Joe's, Target, I get caramel rice cakes because they don't carry them at a lot of grocery stores, which I just think is freaking weird. Um, so I stocked up on those. Um, I just got, by stocked up, I meant two bags. I haven't been having them as much as before, but I got a little key holder. Um, I wanted one with a bulletin board. That's what I have at Melissa and my place. Again, I just left it. I wasn't going to take stuff like that. Like, I'm literally taking like nothing with me. Um, so I got, they didn't have that. So I got this for Will. And then I got these two like plastic bins. They're not anything pretty. I'm just going to leave these under Will's sink because he has just like a single sink since it's a one bedroom apartment. Um, so just for like my makeup and toiletries and stuff because I've literally had my makeup in makeup bags since I've been going back and forth um, for so long. And I'm like, I just don't want those like sitting on top of his sink anymore. So we're going to organize that. And then I got a few of the, um, the Alani energy drinks, which, guys, I'm like an energy drink person. Like I said, for a long time, I was like energy drink every single day, which is not necessarily the best. But a lot of them like hurt my stomach. And the two that don't um, are 3D and the Alani ones. So I got these. I got a bunch of different flavors. Um, yeah, I got six of them. So, that is what I got. Um, and I knew that they carried these at Target now. So, I literally was, like, on a mission to find them. But, um, just if I don't want pre-workout, um, and I would rather have an energy drink. I don't want coffee. Usually, I have my coffee in the morning and then, like, another caffeine source later in the day. So, I can keep, keep going. But, I'm gonna put this stuff away. Um, probably make a snack. And, honestly, it's, like, gloomy. It looks like it's gonna rain or something outside. So, um, I'm probably just gonna, like, plan out my week, which is what I usually do on Sunday, but then I can just kind of wing it tomorrow. But I'll let you guys know if I do anything and see you in the next clip. What up fam? Okay. Well, we got our, um, tank top on and I really like it. I like the yellow, but it's been a few hours. It's like eight 15 right now. Um, and I literally ended up just cleaning Will's apartment. I cleaned it kind of like the day I came in and he gets it like cleaned, I think like every other week or something. He's not like a dirty person, but there's just stuff like he's not the most organized. So I just organized the whole kitchen, like took out like empty like bottles of stuff that were there, swept, wiped everything down, which I find cleaning so therapeutic. And honestly, I've been like, like I haven't felt like, okay, I don't know how to say it's the right way. Melissa and Will are both like my home and like my safe space. Um, especially Melissa because like she's been my best friend. We've been through so much and whatever. But I haven't felt like I have a home, if that makes sense. Because Melissa's at our place all the time. Mac, her boyfriend, lives underneath us. So they kind of like hang out in our place and I come here. Um, but obviously this is Will's place. And so like both feel like I'm very comfortable in both places. Like it's not even weird being here alone, but, um, I haven't felt like I have like my place and therefore kind of going off it. I haven't like put in much effort into like cleaning and like keeping stuff organized. Cause I was just like in between places so much. It like didn't really matter to me. I was just kind of like throw my stuff out and like go. But anyways, my point is it feels very nice to just have like one space and I just like started cleaning and I was like, I'm gonna just go to town, which is how it like always used to go in the past. And um, anyways, that's one thing when I move into my own place that I am very excited to do is just keep it very clean. And then like I was there. Um, so anyways, there's that. Um, I showered, I put a new Dexcom on my butt, and, um, I, like, just got stuff organized, um, for, like, our team, our team for the week. Um, we, like, lay out tasks and all that stuff, so I did that, responded to some inquiries, and now I am going to journal, which I've been journaling every single day and learning for 30 minutes. I'm right now I'm reading a book called The Nutrition Almanac, which a girl I follow, who's a registered dietitian, said it was, like, her whole nutrition degree in a book, 
So I have that linked in my Amazon store, which is in the description box. Um, I've really been enjoying that. I just love learning. And then I've been journaling every day, which I got out of touch with for a long time. And um, I told you guys my last vlog, I kind of went through like a mental breakdown and I started doing that again. So I'm gonna journal for a little bit, make some food, and then probably watch a movie and like FaceTime Will. But um, yeah, it's my very long update. I'm sorry, this vlog's just a ton of me talking. Okay, so just woke up dinner and this isn't a full day of eating, um, but I'm excited about this meal. I'm like eating different things than usual today. So I'm like, I have to show you guys. Here we have it. I have my micronutrientes. I just have some zucchini and mushrooms that I just put garlic salt on. And then this is the like pre-seasoned or pre-marinated pesto chicken from Trader Joe's. And then I have some sweet potato fries. Another random thing when I was at the grocery store yesterday that I was like, I'm craving, I told you guys pineapple, but I was like, my mom actually used to make these for us all the time um and she would just put them in the oven but i was like i want some sweet potato fries and like i don't feel like going out of my way to go get them um the macros on these aren't bad too i think for one serving yeah it's five fat 20 carbs and two protein so i just had like two servings um and i just threw them in the air fryer with a little bit of cooking spray so that's what i have and then I'm going to put some ketchup, which they, I swear they have like a, told you they have like a jasmine rice shortage, but I swear they're also having a sugar-free ketchup shortage because this is the only one they had, which is kind of weird. But um, anyways, I'm going to eat this and watch Bridgerton because Will won't watch it. So I started watching it. I was like home in Chicago last week and I was like, I'm going to start watching it. So I'm going to watch that, um, have a glass of wine and... Will's gonna FaceTime me here in a second. So, that's my plan. See you in the next clip. Okay guys, good morning. It is the next day, it is Sunday. Um, right now, it's 10 a.m. Um, I honestly woke up at like 6.45, which is when I usually wake up. My body just kinda woke me up and was like, time to get going. Um, so I worked a little bit and then I just went to Trader Joe's because the line always gets really long later in the day and I've kind of found the time so you can go and get stuff. So, first of all, it's freaking raining outside. Like, what the hell? So happy I went on that hike yesterday. But I was, like, running through the parking lot because I didn't even look outside before I went. And I was like, yo, was not prepared for this. But um, what I got is a bunch of jasmine rice, which I think I told you guys. There's been, like, a shortage. So that was a big reason I went early just to get that for will um gluten-free pancake mix i always get my spinach there because produce is really cheap and really good and these like the spinach does not go bad so i have a bag in the fridge already but i just got that too i got some cinnamon raisin bread their gluten-free one it is my favorite i make french toast with it um i just keep it in the freezer so it doesn't go bad um, I got more everything boggles. We got zucchini. That's very easy. I got some of this reduced guilt guac, um, which I like just, I, I have regular guac too um, in the fridge already, but it's nice to feel like I don't need any extra fat. Um, I got some of their peanut butter, creamy salted. I got some of this almond cashew beverage. Um, I just like to have like a non-dairy milk. Um, I got cereal the other day, so I'll probably have cereal. Um, and then I got polenta, which is one of my favorite carb sources. There's like no fiber in it. It's just a simple carb and this whole log is a dollar. And honestly, there's three servings, but usually I use like almost a whole one of these at a time. Next up, I got some salmon. Um, this is one of my favorite salmons in it. I got some chicken boob. Um, it's just all natural, no antibiotics, chicken breast. Um, they didn't have my pesto on, which was sad, but this will do and will eat a ton of chicken. So I got <laughs> two bags of those. Um, I got these pretty. 
I got these pretty rainbow carrots. I've seen a lot of people make these like in the air fryer and I just thought it'd be good to get some different like nutrients in. I did get a couple bags of frozen asparagus just to have on hand. Um, and then I got some blueberries. So definitely not like a full haul or everything that I eat, but that's like my Trader Joe's stuff for the week. Typically I go to the grocery store, like normal grocery store once and Trader Joe's once. So that's that. Um, I'm going to make up some food and then head to the gym. Okay. Um... Okay, so I totally lied. I ended up just getting like all of my work for the day done and I feel very good. I'm gonna go train right now um, and it's like two o'clock, but I thought I would try this flavor of the Alani energy drinks for you. It's a breezeberry, which I'm assuming is like blue raspberry. Usually I'm not a huge blue raspberry person. Okay. Oh yes. This is really good, actually. It's not super blue raspberry. I don't know what the flavor is. It reminds me of the blue 3D. So maybe it is blue raspberry, but it's not, like, super sweet. I think that's why I like these. I feel like Bang and Rains are, like, so sweet. It makes me sick. But, anyways, that is that. I think I'm going to close out this vlog because it's a lot of just, like, me rambling and talking and I want to edit this later this afternoon. Um, so thank you guys for hanging with me. Like I said, Will gets back tonight, which is why I'm like trying to just like get everything done. But still kind of like rainy outside. Don't really want to go and drive in the rain. Not because I hate driving in the rain, but people in San Diego don't know how to drive in the rain. <laughs> It's all scary out there. So send prayers. But I'm um, just kidding. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. As always, comment, share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss another video. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one.